here, 1v1, Caldera is a fine ray blue side. Maybe it's Mike AB as a Chaos Lord, durable and destructive commander, walks through objects and cannot be suppressed. Some powerful offense and disruption fights mainly in melee combat. Some Black Legion over here. Red side then, Lamours is a Warlock, a melee commander that can leap into combat with some powerful spells, offense, disruption and support. Cautious start early on, nobody forward capping. We do have double heretics from Mike, which suggests we're going to see Havocs next. Lamours into some Banshees. Here they are, power melee squad, very dangerous for low level heroes, but Chaos Lord of course does have that kill the weak, so he's probably going to be relatively happy to go in on them early on. That second heretic squad could be interested to see if he does try and forward cap with these guys, maybe up that east side to go for this contested power. These guys are going for the contested power west side. They're going to run into some dire avengers though, who will shoot them down pretty quickly with those shuriken catapults. And there are the banshees as well lurking. Chaos Lord's coming over. Is he going to go? Looks like he's going for the banshees. How close he is to this barrier here. Trying to disrupt their cap with his kill the weak, maybe. And there's the Warlock. CSM are joining. Might see a full scale army v army engagement very early on. His second heretic squad are not going to be involved though. Looks like Chaos Sword is in there. See the Banshees backing away. Trying to bait out the kill the weak. I think if you do wait for when his energy drops. When he's going to use the ability. That might be too late. And uh, nicely done. Heretics come in. Doom Blast forces everything away. And now it's just a Warlock. He's not going to be able to do a whole lot here. He's staying in play for some reason. There's some corn worship. Help him chase, maybe. They're moving away. Just stay there and keep hitting him, I think. There we go. There was another leap. And now he can forward cap like crazy on some of Lamour's stuff. Lamour's not going for a uh, second Dara Vinder squad. He's going straight into Shuriken. Maybe double Shurikens. And there is the Havoc squad from Mike. We might see... Yeah... Double shurikens seems likely to try and lock down that Chaos Lord. We might see the Dark Halo to try and combat that with some Grenade Launcher Heretics. There are the Banshees. Can they get in on that Chaos Lord? No, they're going to chase these CSM. And these CSM are playing a very dangerous game, not retreating here. I think they're trying to get back to these guys for some corn Worship. But now the Banshees are on them. They're going to lose one model at least. That's a special attack there. This guy down. He's going to be chopped down pretty quickly by all of the models. And there's the washout. You went to them by their aspect. And they are in big trouble here. Where are, where's the Doom Blast? These guys should be helping out those CSM. Lucky perhaps not to drop another model there. Those CSM guys. Banshees quite easily as you can see. Dealing with the Heretics. Especially with their aspect. They can chop them down pretty handily in tier 1. They don't have an aspiring champion. They sort of have it in place, suppressing the Banshees, forcing them off. Now they can move up towards the power on the seaside. It's full. Don't see a second Shuriken squad. First one is actually capping right now. This guy, these guys, I should say, are shooting up the node. Heretics don't want to really want to get, get involved. They take so much damage just moving in. He doesn't know where the Warlock is either. And Destructor can be really bad news for Heretics. He's got that Merciless Witchblade, such an awesome weapon, 65 DPS melee and some decent piercing damage on his ranged attack too. It's one of those weapons, one of those tier 1 weapons that seems to do way more damage than it says. Seems to absolutely decimate things per attack. Kind of like the Combi Flamer for the Chaos Lord. Any of these guys leveled? No. Warlock does have a bit more XP. Double Havocs for Mike. That's going to make Lamour's... Really think twice about getting that early vehicle out in tier 2. Heretics here down to 4 models. Did take down a generator. It's been rebuilt. The CSM are playing with fire a bit. Very low on hit points. And we know how quickly Eldar can put the hurt on you. Banshee's not... I don't think they know where the Havocs are. So they don't want to rush in. Where are the Havocs? Oh, they're back here. Chaos Lord moving in though with some Doom Blasting Heretics. There's a Destructor. Pain. And he's using his Havocs really well so far. Cutting out lanes and supporting his forces. Yeah, Warlock got absolutely owned there. Don't think he's even got a melee attack off with his Merciless Witchblade. Also drains energy, of course. So if the Chaos Lord does get the Dark Halo up, that's going to be painful for him. Might stop him getting it. 
Banshees will be suppressed. Not sure why they moved forward. They knew the Havocs were there. We see Havocs bashing power. CSM just lurking. Maybe watching for a flank. Shuriken Cannon is going to get tied up. But Banshees are there. Going after the Heritage. Don't want anything to do with those Banshees. Doom Blast and run away. Which is generally a good way to use your Heretics. Doom Blast run back to the lines. CSM have now spotted the Banshees and are shooting them. But they are in big, big trouble here. Banshees do not keep attacking. They could have got at least one model of those guys. And I think that would have been worth doing. But he wants to tie up these Havocs. But now they're being suppressed by the other Havocs. And we have triple Havocs for Mike AB. It's a lot of Havocs. And this is, in fact, the third one. Where's the second one? And it's still over here. Lamours is going tier 2, I imagine, for some Wraith Guard. He could get some vehicles out to try and stop all these heavy bolters being in play, but Wraith Guard, I think, are the way to go. If he can stop the uh, Chaos Lord getting in there and tying him up, that will do a lot of work. Maybe double Wraith Guard, maybe some Dark Reapers alongside to pour on that DPS after things have been suppressed by the Dark Reapers, uh, by the Wraith Guard, I should say. Is that shuriken not been super effective so far it's going for the heavy cover of this wall i think there we go he bashed again has he really bashed a lot though he's putting a massive amount of pressure on but he's only got like one generator at a time i think although he has got a hell of a lot of the map what's this dar avengers trying to shoot a node it's taken him a fair while warlock halfway through level one what about that chaos lord He's like a third of the way through. Double Havoc's bashing. Well, actually one. Now here's the third. Not the most efficient way to bash power, but it's getting a job done eventually. Warlock might come in and start chopping things up, though. 500 to 250. He's got double the VPs that Lemours has, Mike. He's in tier 2. Not sure what he's up to. I guess a Wraith Lord. There's that leap. And a special attack. I believe the special attack of this weapon does power melee damage, which is rather confusing. I think that's right. And he actually hits twice when he twirls the weapon around or something. Something mental and Eldarish. Heretics capping, CSM capping. Wow, they're very, very low. 129 hit points. He's kept them in the field so well. There's a very good field presence off those guys. Triple Havocs. Very bad for Lemoors. He's actually lost his Dire Avengers. I guess these guys just finished them off as they retreated out in melee or something. Maybe the Heretics had something to do with that as well. And it is a Wraith Lord for Lemoors. And Mike going for some Plague Marines. We'll see how long that Wraith Lord lives. Kill the weak. Chaos Lord just holding things up here as long as he can. He's going to have to retreat out. There he goes. Didn't want to risk it. How much damage the Banshees did. That was like one attack each on retreat. Took it down to half health. And that's a Chaos Lord. Starts with a thousand. Heretics just providing some vision here. Shooting their auto pistols. I wonder how much DPS those things do. Here comes that Wraith Lord. Did they get a full bash? Almost. Very nearly got a full bash. There's a massive amount of damage per hit, this guy. Look at that. Banshee's on retreat path. Can he finish off these Havocs? They can. Nicely done. They do have their Exarch as well. And she has that heavy melee Executioner Spear with the aspect of strength. And can he take out both of these Havoc squads? They leaped in, which is kind of unneeded, but they do. He's kept them there way, way too long. Maybe he should have got them moving as soon as he saw that Wraith Lord, but it was very determined to get a full bash there. So that was a massive turnaround for Lamours. Hasn't replaced his Dire Avengers yet. He doesn't have any resources, that's why. Going for a decap over here. Now can Mike stabilize after this? He does have double Plague Marines. There is a Blood Sacrifice from Mike, one of his global abilities. And he spawned some blood letters. They don't last forever, but um, Power Melee Squad immune to suppression is not bad. Wraith Lord, of course, going straight after those Plague Marines, but he's using Pawn Worship to allow them to run away there. And we have Auto Cannon Havocs 
Is the Wraith Lord going to get out of this? That is close range auto cannon to the face there. Crack. Can he finish these guys off? One more hit might do it. No, he gets one model. Now he has to fight double Plague Marines though. This is going to be painful. Here come Banshees to tie up one of them. And he's going to need this. And there's the Warshout. Takes out a model. Can he finish off the Plague Marines here? Oh, very close. I think the Wraith Lord moving through actually mucked up their pathing. They couldn't finish him off there. Chaos Lord does go down. More Havocs for Mike. Wraith Lord doing superbly well so far. Already halfway through level 2. And he's used the Banshees alongside it pretty damn well also. These guys, level 4. 1656 hit points is that. Not bad. Guardian Weapon Team will try and cover the middle. Plague Marines, of course, do well under suppression. Keeping these guys at one model, which could be risky. They still retain the missile launcher, of course. Missile launcher will always be on the squad as long as there's one model alive. Is he going to repurchase here? I guess he does. Can use the Chaos Lord to get in amongst the Shuriken and that kind of thing. Wraith Lord needs to back the hell away. Not sure why he's still here. He knows there's two Plague Marines around. And an auto cannon. He's staying in play. Doesn't he? Well, I guess he can. Oh, he can now he can. Oh, he's using the webway to get in for repairs. Warlock again is shut down by suppression. And auto cannon doing very nasty things to that shuriken cannon. It's not backing it away. There's the retreat. There's the repairs. It's gonna take a while though. Banshees are back in. But yeah, I think it's wise to back off a little bit here, especially if you're warlock off the field. But now he has that webway. And Mike doesn't have a way to detect it. Does not have um, the aspiring champion on heretics, so won't be able to spot that hidden webway gate unless he gets very, very close to it. He knows it's there, obviously, because I think he saw the banshees come out of it. But you can't shoot something, you can't target something, rather, if you can't see it. Banshee's hurting here. That was a really good leading the line from them, though. Warlock has his champion's robe. Going after the Plague Marines. Wraith Lord using its shoulder mounted Shuriken Cannon at 46 piercing DPS to try and finish off the Plague Marines. But they might finish him off here. One more missile might do it. They actually, oh, they actually got two shots off there. So definitely one more now. Bang, down goes the Wraith Lord. I, didn't, I don't think he should have crept forward with that guy. It was very risky. Banshees did well though. Ortuck jumping in, getting too close to that heavy bolter. Could he have dropped that? Could he have dropped her a little bit earlier? Maybe. 428, 144. Lamours is pretty far behind on VPs. But uh, I think he can cap the mid, can he? Oh, a Chaos Dreadnought on the field here. With this auto cannon. I bet he's pretty sick of auto cannons right now. Can he get a melee attack? Not quite. Now shooting up those Dire Avengers. And making them flee. Good choice to get that Dreadnought out, I think. That makes Lemoore's think about an entirely new threat. Needs some anti-vehicle now. Does he get the Bright Lance up? That's the question. Does have the Executioner Spear. And they're going after the Dreadnought. Dreadnought in this state does not have melee resistance. So we'll take a lot of damage from these Banshees here. Autark helping out also. So is the Warlock. Just everything getting in there. Where is the Guardian Weapon Team? If you got the Bright Lance up and uh, got it out the webway, I think he would have taken his Dreadnought down by now. But obviously he wants to retain that suppression. Banshees are chasing. Might be able to deal this Dreadnought pretty quickly. Those are Blood Sacrifice Blood Letters, I believe. And he is going to deal with the Dreadnought, but can the Banshees get away? That is the question. He does deal with it. Banshees in retreat. And they escape. Beautifully done. Very well done by the Banshees. Level 4 Banshees for you. Would not have been able to do that if they weren't leveled up there. And now the Autark with her own Executioner Spear. But her spear is a Power Melee one. 65 DPS Power Melee. I'm not sure why people are so quick to purchase this thing to be honest. Because she starts off with Power Melee I believe. Yes, yeah, not quite as much as the spear. But uh, she can still jump around and support and heal. So... I'm not sure why people are often very, very quick to get this spear out. But maybe it improves the uh, inspiration buff when she kills something. 
don't think so though. And of course in tier 3 you can get the fusion gun if she survives that long. I think it's maybe better to wait for that. Does make her more killy though. There she is leaping away. So what do we see from Mike? We have double plague marines, Havocs, another dreadnought on the way and chaos space marines. He might get a mark of corn dreadnought now. Yes, immediately goes for mark of corn. He knows the banshees are really, really not going to want to fight this guy now. And he doesn't have a bright lance yet. So that's the banshees pretty much taken care of if the dreadnought can get in. Banshees need to just run away from this guy now. Chaos Lord, no war gear. Into level 2. Warlock almost level 4. Does have that champion's robe with that shield up. Bortok stays in. You see that blue aura there. That's a damage reduction aura. Not sure. Is that? I think it's 15%. And that's all damage, I believe. Unlike the Seer Council's aura, which is only ranged damage. 352, 144. Lamours with the 2 to 1. Doesn't look like he wants to push forward and try to extend that. Plague Marines are going for power. And two of them might bash reasonably well with their missile launchers. Here's that Dreadnought with Mark of Corn with 100 heavy melee DPS and the very scary Blood Rage. There's the Blood Rage now. You lose control of your Dreadnought, but it does more damage, moves faster, and is more resilient. Banshee's going in there. That's just so risky. And Lightning Claw Chaos Lord also. Wow. Destructive Strike doing a fantastic job there. Usually I see that thing kind of whiff, but that uh, hurt the Banshees a hell of a lot. Can he finish off the Chaos Lord here? That Merciless Witchblade doing some work and does take him down. Here's another Wraith Lord. Why would you go for the Wraith Lord with double Plague Marine still around? Can he deal with a Dreadnought though? Oh no, Shuriken went down. That was a special attack from the Wraith Lord, not very helpful. There we go, does get the final hit. Dreadnought goes down then. And it was a Bright Lance Wraith Lord, so it probably was helping a lot. And uh, maybe this Wraith Lord is a very good choice, because Plague Marines might go down. Warlock trying to get the last hit, but I don't think he's going to be able to. And it's now suppressed. Wraith Lord needs to be careful. These guys can't turn around and get a shot off. Autark drops in. Almost wiping out those Havocs. In fact, she might be able to do it. Look at her speed, and does. Nicely done. Where the hell did she go? Oh, she jumped up here. Another Plague Marine goes down. Now they're in retreat. Lamours has maybe turned this around big time. Chaos Lord level 2 now. Almost level 3. It must have been those Bright Lance shots that took down the Dreadnought. Because it, you seem to lose a lot of health from just Banshees there. Didn't even realise this guy was around. Now getting some repairs. Well earned repairs, I think. Is double plague marines enough when you have banshees and the warlock and the autok to tie them up? 310, 1 2 3, Lamours with a 2 to 1 cap. And she's getting her X up back. 90 20 to get her on the field. Does the autok have her spear again? Yeah, she's going for it. 75 25. There it is. Is that worth the purchase price right now? I guess she thinks it does. Is she can send her into the CSM, get them killed a bit quicker. What is he up to, this cursed lord? Getting another chaos dreadnought on the field. What does he do now, Mark of Zinch? And it's like your players are pushing opposite sides here. Going for powers and stuff. Yep. Yeah. Going straight for the VP though is Lamours. And curiously, Mike is not going for the VP whatsoever. He really wants to get his power down. Could have decapped, I think, with a Chaos Lord left left the two Plague Marines and the CSM to shoot down the generators. As it stands, he's gonna lose his natural and all of his power. But will Lamours lose the same? And we still have this web right here, which has been a massive, massive help to Lamours so far. Wraith Lord is fully repaired. We do have another Mark of Corn Chaos Dreadnought. We'll see how this guy does. We might see the Chaos Lord 
go after the Wraith Lord early on to tie up its ranged weapon. It's a very dangerous ranged weapon, that shoulder mounted Bright Lance. Does it give me DPS here? 20 armor piercing DPS. Doesn't sound like a lot, but it will do some work. Autark jumping over stuff. Plague Mage run the hell away, down to one Mother Leech. CSM are in a bad, bad place here. Banshees and Autark and a Wraith Lord in their retreat path. Curse Lord doing his thing with his claws. Wow, that destructive strike is awesome. How much does it do? Piercing damage and weapon knockback. 30. It only says 30 there. Maybe it's 30 per explosion because I think it's like a series of explosions or something. Heretics are going to cap these guys with an aspiring champion. Are you going to cap? Maybe not. He's misclicked here. 157123 needs to stop this triple. There we go. Lamore's in a pretty good position, I think. His next purchase is going to be vital. And now he knows he has to deal with his dreadnought again. Wraith Lord. Very still. He's got his guys split up here. I think he should keep the Wraith Lord with the Banshees so the Banshees can quickly tie things up that are threatening it. Plague Marines are level 2 and still level 1. Dreadnought leading the line. Wraith Lord not in a good position to initiate against that Dreadnought with his Bright Lance either. Still not moving it. Has he seen it yet? I'm not sure. He's kind of backing away a little bit here, Lamors. He's tier 3. Doesn't have enough red for a nuke or anything like that. He's used the all top drop a few times. And here we see the Chaos Dreadnought going after the Banshees. Right Lance Dreadnought. Right Lance Wraith Lord, I should say, going after it. This is going to be a vital engagement, I think. There's the Blood Rage. Plague Marines getting shots in. What does the Chaos Lord do here? He forced the Banshees off. All top now. All top now in a very, very precarious position. Blood Sacrifice Bloodletters again doing a good job. And can they finish off the Autark on retreat? Wow, direct hit from the Plague Marine missile. But she lives. Wraith Lord lives. Plague Marines there taken out by the Warlock. And the Warlock himself does get away. Wraith Lord took very little damage, actually. So, a good engagement overall for Mike. Banshees were dealt with relatively quickly. Autark also. Dire Avengers, where are you? You're over here. Grenade might have might have helped out there. Smack. Can you take out the Chaos Lord? Another good destructive strike. Does he go down on retreat? Looks like a yes, he does. That was pretty close. Blood, Rage, Dreadnought. Not giving up the chase on this Wraith Lord here. But Banshees... Going. How many models have they killed in this game? Uh oh, but as a blood sacrifice, blood letters on retreat path. That's painful. And Dreadnought will also be on retreat path. Well, Wraith Lord using its Wraithbone thing. 70 hit points per second for 7 seconds. That's not bad, is it? 700 hit point heal. Are you trying to fight him? Not a good idea. Are you leveled up, Mr. Wraith Lord? You are level 2. Banshees, do you engage here? You do engage. Bad. Bad Banshees. They're going to get owned. Yep, down they go. That was such a shame. Those Banshees have been awesome. Blood Crusher on the field for Mike here. Warlock using his incredible speed to get for this VP. 74.96. Dreadnought gets away. Maybe. Wraithlord might just chase it all the way back here. Plague Marines are still in play, so they could slow it down and help out, but they're not moving right now. Oh no, he stopped chasing. One more shot from that Bright Lance might have did it. Blood Crusher stops the Warlock capping, but he did get the decap. Now a 1 to 1. Once Mike takes his natural back, he'll get the 2 to 1. More CSM on the field for Mike. And a Fire Prison for Lemores, that's a big deal very big deal can stop caps and take out a dreadnought from afar not to mention that blood crusher so webway is still here all top jumping in 
And she's trying to decap the middle, but uh, knows she won't be able to do it, I think. Fire Prism being used well, dodging the Plague Marines. And the Blood Crusher's not going to last long. Fire Prism shooting at it with its focused beam. Bang, down it goes. Wraith Lord is repaired up already. Lamor's looking pretty strong in the center here now. All of a sudden with the Fire Prism and the Wraith Lord. And in fact, he has conceded, Mike, with the appearance of that Fire Prism. Could he have kept going? I think he could have. Had some resources, but the Dreadnought was about to fall, as you can see. And he's just leapt on the Plague Marine here. Did not see any reason to continue. Not to mention the Chaos Lord himself being down. Very hard fought. Very close. Lots of turns. Awesome game. Level 6 Warlock at the end. A pity those Banshees went down. They were awesome. But they have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.